association in, at your previous university, then this has also a good impact on the reviewer of your application. Then you have to also think and keep in mind that if you have any leadership quality or if you did any anything that differentiates you from other candidate from rest of the candidate that that is going to give you a bonus point when your application is going to be scrutinized so these are the questions that you should answer when you are going to write about the thing that how you are the right candidate when you have to prove that you are the right candidate for this particular position then uh, this will be very this will be very good moving on it is also clearly important to highlight your contribution when you are writing down the motivation letter on the society or your home country or the country where you, you are going to get this uh, degree done so your contribution are especially important because they want to know that how this degree, how this scholarship or fellowship is going to impact the society, either it is political or in terms of social or in terms of technological advancement that you will achieve in the near future after obtaining this degree or is it some kind of scientific advancement, scientific achievements. Uh, are you going to contribute toward the econ economical aspect of the country or the society? or some kind of entrepreneurial um, achievements that you are going to establish a firm or an organization or a company after obtaining this degree. This is very important because this will highlight your, your uh, intention uh, that you are going to give back to the society and, and uh, they really want to hear about this question from you as a candidate. Then another aspect of motivation later is to present uh, about the study program the courses that you are going to choose so if you are going to study masters in some kind of uh, engineering courses or some kind of social uh, courses uh, either innovation or some kind of business administration courses then how this study course and the modules that this study course constitute is going to help you uh, in, in achieving your target and how is it of great interest to you how can this help you to push towards your future goal so this question is very uh, important in the sense that you have to identify the modules and the courses that is relevant to you and to your study course since you are going to apply for a particular degree or position in a university which is located in a country then you have to also specify that why are you choosing that particular country and this question you can answer by elaborating not in like in, uh, in, in, a, in a very elaborate manner but to be brief you have to specify the educational standard of that country. So if you are applying for Germany, a, a university in Germany or a university in UK, then what is the educational standard of that country? How many universities are, uh, are, are of exceptional quality uh, and offering high standards of education and degree in that country? What are the career opportunities that that country is going to give you uh, what are the cultural benefits food travel benefits travel opportunities then social influence uh, but since you are going to devote your two years or three years or four years of your life in that country how the culture the society and the work culture is going to give you the benefit and how you are going to take that benefit out of it and then you have to also specify that if you are going to engage with the people that engagement is going to help you in building a core network or building a lot more contacts so this is also very important in this sense uh, similarly in in that pursuit you can also answer that why that country influenced you in choosing that university and that you can 
answer by explaining the technological advancement of that country, educational advancement of that country and this way you can answer all these questions. So, while writing motivation letter, you have to consider few important do's and don'ts. What are the do's? What are those do's that you have to pen down when you are writing motivation letter is that motivation letter should be well composed. It should not be like haphazard, it should not be like irregular. The paragraphs that you are writing should be well connected. It should flow in, in a particular, in a right direction from your goal to the point that how you are right candidate uh, for this particular position. It should be of an appropriate style of writing. Uh, the font size and the font type and the paragraph paragraph uh, 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 structure should be uh, very appropriate, very 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 in a, in a consistent manner. Then when you complete your motivation letter, you should proofread your motivation letter for any spelling mistakes, grammar mistakes, uh, for any contextual mistakes. Uh, this you have to rectify if you are going to uh, give a good impression about your motivation letter. You have to focus on your strength. Do not focus on your weakness because weaknesses, if they are going to interview you, you can tell your weakness at that point. Otherwise, you have to be focused on your strength. You can start with positive points. Uh, do not present the negative points. Uh, the positive points is going to give more marks towards uh, your application. And then you have to mention the relevant facts and, and experiences. Uh, do not copy the entire CV in motivation letter. You have to just take out the few important and relevant points that you should include in the motivation letter. Uh, you need to collect information about the university, about the courses, about the modules that you are going to um, study in future. Always ask for the second opinion. Even if you write a very good motivation letter, you have to consult your friends, you have to consult your previous supervisors, you have to consult a good person and always give a personal touch to your motivation letter. And what are the don'ts? The don'ts are that, that you should not use any flowery or flattery phrases. Uh, you should avoid these kind of phrases. Uh, you should not write uh, motivation letter more than two or three pages. Uh, if you write more than three pages, then it's very long and nobody's going to read the entire four or five pages of your motivation letter. Um, don't copy from others. You know, you have a number of motivation letters available online but you should just go through those, those motivation letters to take uh, opinion but you should give your personal that what I mentioned in the previous uh, few, few minutes ago uh, then there should not be any poetic phrases you should stick to the point very straightforward very concise do not exaggerate about yourself, do not exaggerate about the university, about the country, about the courses. You have to be very uh, relevant and you have to be very exact. And remember one thing that's very important, that CV and motivation letter, they are not equal. So you should not copy the entire CV on your motivation letter. You have to just take care out of the important aspects, the relevant points you can include in your motivation letter. And which are very much relevant to that particular position. So viewers, to summarize today's episode, I would like to give you some salient features or salient points of this episode, which you should note down and uh, which are as follows, that you should not write the CV in one evening. You have to think about it before writing it down. You have to define your goal, work on your goal, work on your objective. You have to answer the question that how you are the right candidate for this study program. Then you have to think about what are the contributions that you are going to give back to the society. Uh, either it is in terms of social, political, economical, technological, scientific, etc. Why are you choosing this particular study program or this scholarship or fellowship? Why are you choosing this particular country 
what are the benefits that this country is going to give you and few important do's and don'ts that you have to always ask about the second opinion do not copy the entire cv in your motivation letter do not copy motivation letter from internet available options now you have to think you have to give you give a personal touch focus on your strength do not concentrate upon your weaknesses it should be consistent and appropriate style of writing do not use flowery and flattery phrases do not use any poetic phrases do not exaggerate so viewers i think today's episode is going to help you in writing down a successful motivation letter and as always this is my opinion you have to think about your opinion as well and consult some other people or your friends to put down uh, an important points regarding your motivation later i think uh, if you like this episode then please do like and follow the facebook page if you like this video please subscribe to our youtube channel and give a thumbs up to our youtube channel thank you very much viewers we will be back again in a week